Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Drug cartels targeting children in New Hampshire, law enforcement officials say. U.S. Senate holds field hearing in New Hampshire. Law enforcement officials testified Monday at a rare U.S. Senate field hearing in New Hampshire that Mexican drug cartels are targeting children. Officials said the flow of deadly addictive drugs into New Hampshire continues to pose a challenge. It was really the influx of pills laced with methamphetamine targeting children to look exactly like an Ardillero that I thought was just an insurgent move on the part of drug cartels to target young Americans, said John Delaney, Drug Enforcement Administration Deputy Special Agent in Charge. Delaney testified Monday that our silent fentanyl is devising New Hampshire and the DEA is now seeing methamphetamine coming in at an alarming rate from Mexico and China. The rutless of these cartels combined with the callous greed is destroying families and communities, resulting in an increase in violence and crime here in the Granite State and across the country, he said. Elected and law enforcement officials said the old model of incarceration and confinement is not the way out of this modern drug war. They said a critical component now is reducing demand. And U.S. Rep. Annie Custer, a Democrat of New Hampshire, said that starts with access to treatment. The Medicaid inmate exclusion is a direct cone policy that hurts those with substance use disorders, mental illness, and trauma who cycle in and out of our justice system, she said. The race for funding to keep up with the agelet of drug cartels that are not bound by rules or budgets is an ongoing struggle, said U.S. Senator Maggie Hassan, a Democrat from New Hampshire. We just have to keep at this with everything we've got, Hassan said. You all are on the front lines, and so are the men and women that you lead. And we are very grateful to all of you. The law enforcement officials said more funding is needed for field testing equipment and personnel, along with continued congressional support. And that does it for this evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching and have a great evening. Good night and goodbye.